Hi, this is Mary and I'd like to talk about Canton of Siena's profound devotion to the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Catherine was born in Italy in 1347 and she lived to be 33 years of age. She died at the same number of years that our Lord died, but that's not all the things that she shared in common with our Lord. She also shared our Lord's wounds, which means she was a stigmatist. Our Lord bestowed upon Catherine his wounds, uh, which he, and she had a lived experience of how he shed his blood through these same wounds. Our Lord shed his blood seven times, first in the Garden of Gethsemane, when his brow broke into blood, into sweats of blood, and second of all, when he was scourged at the pillar. Thirdly, through the internal wounds of how his organs bled internally during his passion. And also, fourthly, when he was crowned with thorns. Uh, fifthly, when his palms were pierced. Sixthly, when his feet were pierced. And if the seventh occasion was when, after he had died, the soldier uh, opened his side with a lance and the lance was used to go up to our Lord's heart, pierce his heart, and from that heart wound came out blood and water, which told the soldiers that our Lord had died. Now Catherine had a profound devotion to the precious blood, so much so that she began all her letters with, I write in the precious blood of Jesus. She wanted all her words to be cleansed with the precious blood. And this was, she achieved so much through her letters that she was perhaps one of the most prolific letter writers in the history, in, in the history of man. Because she moved the heart of the Pope, who had gone to France, and she moved him to come, return to Italy, to return to Rome, because he had absconded to France, and her letters moved him to come back. Also, not just content to influence the Pope, and the highest echelons of the Vatican, Catherine had a great following of local people around her in Italy, and she always advised her followers to fill their memories with the precious blood. Imagine if we were to think about asking our Lord that he would deign to fill our memories with his precious blood. She was also a beautiful writer of the invocations of the precious blood, and I'm just going to go to my prayer journal here. I often keep uh, some very precious prayers in the prayer journal instead of uh, carrying around lots of books I keep certain uh, most lovely prayers here so that I can have them close at hand so we're just going to say the invocations of the precious blood and when I pray this prayer we have a very strong sense of Catherine's deep deep devotion to the precious blood in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost Amen Precious blood, ocean of divine mercy, flow upon us. Precious blood, most pure offering, procure us every grace. Precious blood, delight of holy souls, draw us to thee. Precious blood, inexhaustible treasure, enrich us. Precious blood, furnace of love, warm our cold hearts. Precious blood, sweet charm of holy souls, attract us. Precious blood, fount of chastity, purify us. Precious blood, hope and refuge of sinners, answer for us. Precious blood, balm of wounded hearts, console us. Precious blood, efficacious remedy for every suffering, heal us. Precious blood, refuge of the tempted, come to our aid. Precious blood, hope of the agonizing, help us. Precious blood, seed of Christians, increase our zeal. Precious blood, admiration of the angels, exalt us. Precious blood, love of the seraphim, inflame us. Precious blood, faith of the patriarchs, enlighten us. Precious blood, hope of the prophets, strengthen us. Precious blood, charity of the apostles, animate us. Precious blood, 
Reward of confessors, quicken us. Precious blood, beauty of virgins, adorn us. Precious blood, delight of all the saints, inebriate us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us.